Hi guys. So today I want to show you how to shop for hard to get products using PHP. The example website I'm going to be using today is bestbuy.com. All right, in order to get started what we need to do is locate a sold out product. I happen to have one in mind. As you can see, there's a, a disable sold out button displayed on the page. So what we need to do is write some code to search and match for that. Okay, so I'm going to do things a little bit different this time. I'm going to try to write the source code from the product page to a cache file and then read that cache file and search for any type of changes with that sold out button. Um, so to get started, I'm going to go back to Best Buy and copy the product URL and assign it to a variable. And then I'm going to set our cache file path in file name. And I'm going to use curl, but I'm going to use it in a different way. Um, what I'm going to do is use a command called uh, execute. And it basically allows me to run curl um, as if it's a Linux command. Okay. So basically, this is all we need to write the data from the Best Buy product page to our cache file. Okay. And we see we have a cache file created. And here's the source code. Now what I want to do is search for that sold out button. So I'm going to do a find. So what we have here is a key value pair um, the key being a button state ID the value being sold out line um, what I would like to do is try to copy the sold out, sold out online text and do a match for that okay let me just place that here real quick so what I want to do next is make sure my cache files in place I can use the file exist uh, function to do so Okay, cool. Um, our next step is to read the content from the file and place it into a variable. And we're going to be using the file get contents uh, function. And now that we have the content in a variable, we can start to start to search for a match. Um, to perform this match, I'm going to be using the pre match all function. Uh, basically, this function will allow me to get the number of matches found. So, all. be trying to search for this button ID here and let me copy this variable down here all right so let's print out um, the number of matches it found save And look, we found three matches, which indicates this uh, particular product is offline. All right, so let's move forward with some additional checks. So basically, if the number of matches is above. zero then the product is uh, sold out else may be online okay 
let's run this which indicates the product sold out so what we're going to do is some additional tests and grab another product which is not sold out and test on the PlayStation 4 uh, let me create another variable to hold the product URL and I'm going to comment this one out okay so, so this should show the maybe online status so let's, let's run it boom okay so I'm gonna modify this code a bit say less than one okay so now we're basically saying if the number of matches is less than one which I could just put equal to zero print out maybe online all right so let's run it okay and if I go back to our Nintendo classic so your next step here would be to basically send yourself a notification and you can simply use a mail function to do so now this mail function is only fire when there's a change with the product status By me son okay so that's it so our next step will be to set up a cron job and maybe run the script every hour maybe every 30 minutes but just to recap our main goal was to set up a process that would notify us via email if there was any changes to this product page um okay well thanks guys goodbye oh also before i leave i need to mention if you're running this execute command from your server you may want to disable it when you're through. Um, the ability to run Linux commands via script uh, could potentially be dangerous. Okay, goodbye.